Good day everyone, this is Jason Santos and today I will be discussing the introduction to statistics and probability. Statistics and probability is a subject under the senior high school program by DepEd and private schools under the ABM and other um, senior high school strands. So when we talk of statistics and probability, it is a necessary subject in order for them to continue and finish the specific track. Moreover, it is a prerequisite for finishing researches. So just to give you a quick overview, um, this is the most essential learning competencies from DepEd's manuals. So here are some of the expectations that we have for the subject of uh, statistics and probability. So for the first week, we will be covering random variables and probability. Um, as a student, you must be able to illustrate a random variable, distinguish between a discrete and random variable, find the possible values of a random variable, illustrate a probability distribution for a discrete as we look further into the most essential learning competencies, we will be able to see other topics that we can expect from the subject of statistics and probability. So we, may, we will be able to cover uh, normal probability distribution, sampling solutions, sample mean, and here are some of the most essential learning competencies expected from the students. For a detailed version of this, I have placed uh, the link of the file in my description below so you would be able to download a copy of it. First off, we have to understand the difference between statistics and probability because the two terms are being closely used, sometimes interchanged. Uh, probability and statistics are closely related fields in mathematics and sometimes combined for academic purposes. So probability deals with predicting the livelihood of future events, while statistics involves the analysis of the frequency of past events. So first, you would have to take note of the two differences uh, mentioned here, whereas probability deals with the future and statistics involves the past or analysis of the past events. Probability is primarily a theoretical branch of mathematics which studies the consequences of mathematical definitions. To put it simply, probability refers to chance and possibilities. So whenever we talk of chances or possibility, possibilidad, it means probability. Like when we say, what is the probability or chance of rain? What is the probability or chance of me winning in the lotto? So those are some of the terms that is a given in order for us to know that the statement refers to or pertains to probability. Statistics, on the other hand, refers to data. So when we say data, it is a science that involves collecting, analyzing, summarizing and interpreting the data. It can also aid in the decision making. So when you have data available, it helps the person in charge of making the decision be able to make that decision much better. So it can also aid in the decision making process, enabling us to establish numerical benchmarks and monitor evaluate the progress of our policy or program. This is essential in ensuring that policies are meeting initial aims and identifying which areas require improvement. So, pagka sinabi natin statistics, no, it is a science by itself and it involves hard facts, numbers, and data. So, you collect those data, you analyze it, we summarize it, and then we go ahead and interpret it. Now, statistics, apart from it being used as a decision-making tool, is also used as a solving problem. So,
So once the data is gathered, it must be verified and tested for quality whether it will help in solving a specific problem. So kagaya nga na na-mention natin kanina, um, statistics is used for decision making and what are those decisions for? It is the decision to solve a particular problem. Now in this uh, series of questions that I have showed you right now, this will give us an idea whether a statement or a certain question requires a specific statistical tool. Let's run them all one by one. Number one, how many Filipinos are watching KMJS every Sunday? So notice the two uh, words that I have highlighted or underlined. First is Filipinos and then the second is Sunday. Do you think this question requires a statistical tool in order for us to answer? Of course, it requires statistical tools in order for us to answer such question. It's because of the variables Filipino and Sunday. It's just practically impossible for us to determine whether how many Filipinos are watching every Sunday. Hindi natin siya kayang bilangin. Or we will not be able to count them um, manually. So we would be needing statistical measures. One example would be census. Or another would be through the form of a survey. Um, using those tools, we would be able to know how many Filipinos are really watching every Sunday. And then once we have gathered that data, we would be able to make a certain decision. Should we continue the show or no longer or stop it? Second question is, how much is Mark's salary or baon daily? Do you think this question requires statistics? Okay, it does not require statistics. Why? Because you can simply ask the person, Mark, how much is your baon or magkano ang iyong baon? So you see, from the first two questions, we would be having an idea whether when is the right time for us to use or apply statistics. If it's practically impossible for us to gather the data manually, we will be using statistics. But if it's easier to get the, uh, the information or the data, it no longer requires statistics. Third, do Filipinos prefer TikTok more than Facebook? Notice the underscored word, Filipinos. Um, it pertains to a very large group of um, demographic. When we say Filipinos, it would cover Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Or it would also cover Filipinos abroad. Vice versa, it does not mean that when someone is a resident of the Philippines, they are Filipinos. And then you would also um, take into consideration the two applications that we have mentioned, TikTok and Facebook. So you see, uh, those informations or questions that we have thought of will already give us a clue that this question requires a statistical tool. Four, what is Carl's weight? So similar to number two, this question no longer needs a statistical tool because you can easily measure or you would be able to measure someone's weight manually through the use of applications or tools that would measure somebody's weight. And then finally, number five, are older people more vulnerable to diseases compared to teenagers? In order for us to justify that, we would have to compare two sets of um, demographics. One would be older people, and then the second one would be teenagers. So since it's simply um, not possible for a single person to gather such data manually, you would have to use statistical tools in order for you to survey a specific location, um, specific demographic, so on and so forth. Now that covers the first part of the introduction to statistics and probability. 
I hope you have learned something from this video and please stay tuned for the ma my next upload continuing the subject of statistics and probability. To God be all the glory.